Hello, my name is Ezra speaking, and today we have a Christian singer that's going to be coming in today. Can we come on in? Ellie Holcomb! Hey! Hey. (laughs) It's good to be here with you, Ezra. It's good to be here with you, too. Can you introduce yourself today? Absolutely, I can. Hey, y'all, my name is Ellie Holcomb. I'm from right here where we are right now in Nashville, Tennessee. I was born and raised here. I'm a mom with three kids, and I'm a singer-songwriter as well as a children's author. Oh, and I guess just a regular author because I've written a book for adults, too. Yes. <laughs> I tour with my husband, too. His name is Drew. Yep. And then we bring our kids on the road. Oh, and this is very important. I do, just now, as of this year, have a puppy. <gasps> Aww. Yeah. Her so name's cute. Dolly Parton. Oh. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Dolly Parton. Exactly. <laughs> we got to meet her and sing a song that we wrote with her name in it this year. And so when we got a dog, she's all she's a golden doodle, so she's super fluffy. Oh. And she kind of reminded us of Dolly Parton because of fluffy blonde hair. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna uh ask you about this picture right here. So what what were you doing in this picture right here? This picture is from one of my favorite tours that I've ever been yeah. able to go on. One of my dear friends is Lauren Daigle, and yeah. that's Lauren right yeah. there. And she is awesome, and we've been able to write some songs together, and she asked me and my band to come on tour. So this was, I think, from the first show that I ever played with her on her world tour, but I was just on three of the dates. So this was in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, where we were there. You were we there. Were. High five. Yeah. I was so excited and so nervous because I had never played. This picture is from a big arena. Do you remember how big that place was? Yes. Massive. Massive. I mean, we, and I think actually my kids were at this show too. They came because it wasn't that far from Nashville. So they came and we were probably, I mean, they were probably dancing in the crowd. While I was on stage right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, and we actually, do you remember when they blew those huge confetti cannons? Yes, I have a picture of that You on do? Okay, so that is my kids. Really, we went home with about four bags full of confetti. They thought that was so cool. They were gathering it in oh. little bags. Isn't that crazy? I know. But that was like one of my favorite tours I've ever gotten to do. It was so much fun. All right. I love well, that confetti picture you wanted to talk about is right here. <gasps> There it is! <laughs> Did yeah. you love the show? I loved it. It, it was is. crazy. It's a crazy show. Yes. Really cool stage with lots of lights. <gasps> yeah, massive. It's epic. I love that you were there, Ezra. And did, so you saw me play there, I yes. guess, since you have a picture of me up there. That's so fun. That was really fun getting to come back and sing with Lauren back on stage with her whole band and all yeah. the cool background singers yeah. doing all the dances. <laughs> the trombone player yes i know he's so awesome their whole band and crew is really yes. amazing all righty well we're now going to start with the five day forecast can you do the first three days for us you know what ezra this is really a dream that i never knew that i had until right now i i think i've always wanted to do the weather thank you for helping my dreams come true you're welcome It's amazing. Okay, so this is the Nashville five-day forecast. On Wednesday, it's going to be partly cloudy, high of 46, low of 36. Uh, Over here on Thursday, pretty similar. Another cloudy day, high of 43, a little colder that day, low of 28. And this is good. I need to show my kids this because they wake up and the first thing they say, what's the weather? How warm do we need to dress, Mom? Thank goodness on Friday, the sun is coming out. High of 42, low of 30, but it'll feel a little warmer from that sun. All righty. So Saturday, great day to play, even though it's cloudy. 43. (laughs) Now, these days, uh, except for today, we might get just a teeny bit of snow. What? Because it's a little, it's a It's little, cold enough. Yeah. It's cold enough. It's Look cold at those enough. low temperatures. Low temperatures. I hope we do. I Don't you? We, yeah. That's what we need. Yeah. Snow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, so it's cloudy, 43 for the high and 29 for the low. Snow, yay. Come on, snow. Come on. 
All right, and Sunday we're going to have the same thing. Church day. Church day. And it's going to be worship in God's house. That's exactly right. On and a sunny On sun. a sunny day. Sun. Sun day. on Sunday. Day, yeah. I love it. 39 for the high and 27 for the low. So wear a coat to church. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and now we're just going to go to our radar. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Clear skies. Please we play. Love play in Nashville, in Ashland City, oh. in Hendernville, and, and like everywhere where this map is showing, play outside. Oh, oh play outside. I was like, yeah. play a song. I was like, Nashville, Ashland City, Hendersonville's going to be sun. It's going to be great. Go outside. Play and have fun. Yeah. Yeah, but you can do that outside too. You can do that. You can sing and make up songs outside. Yeah. So go outside and play because the skies are clear. All righty. Well, now we're going to get to Christmas traditions. All right. This first picture, I think it's you. That is me. That's, That's you. right. So it's. Oh, wow, gotta wear a different shirt today. I almost wore that same shirt. Book. Yes. Sounding joy. Yeah, here. that's right. <gasps> you have it here, oh. Ezra. Here it is. Here's the Sounding Joy book. Yes. Please buy it. Please, yes, please buy it. It is, it is such a fun book. I've read it like a million times. Have right? you really? Yeah. How do you like it? I love it. Oh yes. I don't like it. I love it. Yes, that makes me so happy. That's what we want to hear, Ezra. Yeah. I, you know what? My little kids actually love this book too. They love snow. They love Christmas, which it sounds like you do too. Yes. Right? Yeah. And they love animals. And they love Jesus. And this book has all of it. All of it. All <laughs> of it. That That's is amazing. true. All right. Well, this is a picture of the book. Oh, there it is. Of the book, Allie Holcomb. Yes. Ellie Holcomb illustrations by Laura Ramos had a special way of bringing light and whimsy and play into all of the pictures and I love it so much. She did such a great job. Yeah. Okay. So hey you! Oh, I love this picture. The annual Christmas concert. I love it so much. Have you ever been able to come to that at no. the Stormerhorn Symphony Center? It is a really beautiful building. You can kind of see they have it decorated for Christmas yes. too. But we decorate the whole stage. We bring in literally a whole u-haul truck of christmas trees and we put them on the stage we decorate it beautifully we always wear fun fancy clothes and we sing christmas songs that celebrate the christmas season wow. and our little kids come too and that's a picture of my oldest little girl i mean this was a couple yeah. years ago emmy lou uh and she dressed in her princess dress that year uh, which was pretty fun pretty she looks special. pretty great yeah it is but she was singing a song that her dad wrote about her in that picture Aww. yeah mama sunshine <laughs> Pretty fun. Yeah. All right. <gasps> this is your major mission. I love this. This is a friend of my mom's who actually wrote this book. And she sent it to me the other year. It, you, and it comes with the, this little nativity yeah. scene. And basically, it really is a beautiful way. It's like every single day. So the very beginning of Christmas, December 1st, we take the shepherds hide them in the furthest place away from the house from the nativity scene and every single night we move them a little bit closer to see him baby jesus so you're kind of acting out the christmas story of of the three these are the shepherds these are the wise men sorry the wise men following the star remember yeah. they traveled yeah. over orientar to follow the star to meet the baby jesus and so on christmas morning before they even go see any of the presents that santa brought them they go, we've got to move the wise men and get them in front of baby Jesus. And so they run down and they move the wise men right in front of baby Jesus right there. And and then we see if Santa came to her house, which he always does. Oh. Which is really good. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a great tradition. It's a really fun tradition. And you can do it with any nativity scene, even if you don't have the manger mission book. Yeah. You could do it with the nativity scene that you already have. Yeah. You just take the wise men, hide them, and move them closer to baby Jesus every night. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, this is our living nativity set. So every year, this is when I was in Bethlehem a oh, year. My I, I have been shepherds before. You've been a shepherd. I've that been a shepherd. Is amazing. Oh my goodness, is this at your church or is it at This is house? at my church, yeah. Wow. That is amazing. You were in Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. That is crazy. Alrighty, now. 
This is your kid. Oh, that's Hucky. We call him Huck Love. This is actually making Christmas cookies. Do you make Christmas cookies every year? Yes. Isn't it fun? Yes. I think these actual cookies were ones that we were making into ornaments. We like, oh. they're kind of, it's like kind of a gingerbread vibe and then you can actually bake them and put a little hole in them and then hang them on your tree. Aww. Yeah, kind of fun. <laughs> so we both did Christmas cookies and an ornament in one. Oh. Um, pretty cool. Okay. <sighs> I love this Christmas tradition. Okay, so that's a paper tree that we make every year. Yeah. And these are ornaments that you can print out. If you go to Sally Lloyd-Jones' website, she has an okay. amazing book called The Jesus Storybook Bible. Every story whispers his name. And there are 25 stories from the beginning to when Jesus is born. And so we read a story Aww. every day. We light our Advent candles. We read the story. And then while I'm reading the story, the kids color an ornament that has to do with the story from that day. And so we hang it up every night. And that's how we remember the Christmas story because it's so amazing. Wow. God's story is so amazing. So we listen to the story of God, of how he came to this earth, and we go through that every single morning, and then we put a new ornament on our paper tree every we, we We are very thankful that you got to be with us. Oh, me too. So here is this. Thank you so much. I love presents. <laughs> Do you want to open it up right now? Yeah. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Yes. My favorite part about it is just ripping them off. I know, I'm, I'm the same way. I love wrapping presents just so you know that people are going to unwrap them. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, my. Ezra, it says Ezra speaking on it. I look, it has your name. It has my name. I love it so much. Thank you. And it'll keep me warm when it's these cold yes. temperatures that we just yes. talked about this week. Thank you so much. You Can I give you a gift? Yeah. It's a song that I wrote for you. Yeah. It's just a little jingle. Are you ready? Uh-huh. All right. So it goes like this. Okay. As we're speaking, oh, adventures with his family he's seeking, reporting weather, telling stories wherever he goes. It's the Ezra speaking show. this morning. That's so awesome. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so thankful for you. You're amazing, buddy. Ezra, thank you for having me today. Yep. You're pretty awesome. All right. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Remember to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Christmas program. Help us to obey our teachers. In Jesus' name, amen.